Hi everybody! Welcome to my crazy life! It's Lori! And I had to go into the office today, do some notary stuff, get some documents sent out, and now I'm on my way home and took my lunch break to stop at Costco. I think this is it for the week for my shopping. I just took my mask off. Um, I didn't need a lot of things, but there's a couple of things I can only seem to get at Costco. So I did grab a rotisserie chicken, because yum, for lunch. And then I'll have sandwiches with that, because I've been really craving like cold lunches, like sandwiches, wraps, that kind of stuff. So I grabbed rotisserie chicken. I got my peanut butter, which is two huge jars for $10. I got this at Tim Hortons on my way in. I'd go Tim's. I got my cheese wisps. Like, I was like, what is moving behind me? My la uh, my monitor. I picked up a monitor at work. They were let it, they had ordered some for us to work from home, so I have one that I need to utilize. Anyway, so I got my cheese wisps, crunchy, salty, to go with the chip snack. Um, two packages of my egg wraps so I will freeze one and have one in the fridge what else did I get oh and some sliced cheese which I will freeze half because it's a lot of Havarti but it's really good on like tuna salad chicken salad with a little cheese in my egg wrap and that's just a really good lunch these days and then I don't think I need anything else I have plenty of cream Oh, I got uh, sugar, my Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, a bag for like cooking. So I think this week, and you'll probably see a video before I put this video up, because uh, this is my vlog. I'm just starting it on Wednesday. <sighs> Am I the only one that it legit took me a couple hours to figure out today is Wednesday? I kept going, is it Monday, Tuesday? Honestly. Um, so yeah, this is it. I think I have enough groceries. I wanted to make a keto cheesecake, so I needed sweetener, and I have the cream cheese, I have the nuts to make the crust, so I think I'm good. I got plenty of eggs at home. I don't think I need to go to the grocery store this week. Um, in Ohio, it has been announced that on May 1st, so Friday, Today's the 29th or 30th, 29th. So on Friday, the 1st of May, doctors and vets are opening back up. So medical is on Friday. And then on Monday, they are releasing construction workers, manufacturing distribution back to their work. But before these businesses can open, they have to have a plan of how they're gonna protect their employees and how they're gonna keep everybody at a social distance. And then on the 12th, oh, and on the 4th, I believe it's also office, general office. There's more, but this is just kind of categories. And then, um, and then it's retail on the 12th of May. And then they haven't decided on restaurants and bars yet to allow people inside. So at least we've got some movement. I was just on a conference call at my job that we will not go back to work until, that we won't be back in the office until June 1st. So at least another 30 days at home. But I can't show you a picture inside of my office just because it's not allowed. But um, our desks, are very close together. It's a row of these desks. Like if I put my arm out and my neighbor put her arm out, we could hold hands. Not that we do, but we could. We're very close and, and close and there's no, we don't have cubicles. This is this modern collaborative workspace where there's no walls between us. There's no cubicles. It's, you know, we're just kind of at these desks. So we won't be, I don't foresee long term us ever being allowed back into the office at the same time all of us so what they've come up the plan right now which you know is always subject to change because of the nature of what we're dealing with but the plan is every other desk 
and nobody sits across from each other. So my boss and bosses have come up with our seating chart and who is on what day. So like a salmon A day. Week one, I will go back Monday, Wednesday, Friday. B week would go back Tuesday, Thursday. And then the next week would be B week. I would go Tuesday, Thursday, and the B week people would go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So something similar to that um, type of three on, two off, or three in the office, two at home kind of. We'll be working, but working from home. So, ooh, the wind just blew. All right, well, I'm driving, so I'm going to get off here and get home and get my groceries put away real quick so I can get back to work. Talk to ya. We're done. I got a video coming out on the process of painting my kitchen, but I love the color. And I hope you do too. Come on. Come on, Alex. Hi, buddy. It's a rainy morning and the boys are so enjoying this window in my office being open. I have on their little blanket and they get to look outside. They love it. Hey guys, I am making some dinner. I have a video coming out later with some Taco Joe's. Yum. And this is just the taco meat that I used. And these are pork rinds. So I'm going to make my version, I suppose, of like keto tacos. You can do this with corn tortillas. If that's what you so choose, you can do it with anything you want. I'm just making nachos. Um, so I just took a little pan. I heat up the meat first because it won't be in the under the broiler that long, but you can use tortilla chips. I just happen to be using pork rinds. And then I just have some cheddar cheese. So easy dinner. And then I just put some cheese on my pork rinds. And then I'm gonna stick them under the broiler. You wanna keep an eye on it? Hi buddy and let the boy broil or do its thing and then i'm going to top it with some uh, guacamole and sour cream so i'll show you in a minute so i just stuck them under the broiler long enough to melt the cheese and i use these little pop-up aluminum foil sheets and i kind of just leave it on there easy cleanup it keeps everything on the plate and then i have a little guacamole and i just kind of dab it around and I'll just dip. You can use any kind of meat for this. They had at Aldi this week that I saw um, carnitas, chicken, pulled chicken, zero carbs. I don't know if it was seasoned or not because I didn't need any, so I didn't get it. And then a little sour cream. If you like it spicy, you could put jalapenos. I don't have any or I would. I throw bacon on there. Delicious. But that, my friends, is a quick dinner for me. I've been working my tukes off all day long today. I got two huge things off my goal list um, that I wanted to get done during the quarantining. And I have. I repotted my plants. And I finished painting my kitchen cabinets. Put a little pepper on there. And then I just dip and go. Mmm. Delish. I had to run to my hardware store to get a piece to um, finish my cabinetry. And while I was in there, I grabbed a new grill. This is a Weber. This is the second one of this I've had. It's 14 inch. If you're a family of like two, three, this is a perfect grill. Wellington agrees. The other one I had for six years. 
and I just need to get it a new one. It was $34.99. That seems to be the price for them. And it is just small. But I have to build it. Rainy day today. So we won't be doing that. All my shoes. And that needs to go to the garage. And look at that kitty. Hi, Dovers. Cutie. Okay, guys. I'm making some coffee. It is caramel vanilla cream. Hi, buddy. It's 7 o'clock at night. No, coffee doesn't bother me. You want some cream, honey? Okay. Coffee doesn't bother me at night. I'm waiting for my cousins to come over and get their um, items that I put together for them. I know. Here you go. Socially distanced. Running the dishwasher again. I'm going to edit some video. And then I'm going to think about bed. Probably do some cross stitch. Then but look at the crazy hair. The boys need some water. Okay, that's a lie. Alex needs water. Wellington drinks out of the sink. He will not drink out of a bowl. He has never drank out of a bowl. He is going on 13 years old. He has never drank out of a bowl. So, I have a little cat bowl here. Put a little extra in it for Mr. Alex. Gonna make some coffee and finish up this video and then I'm gonna go do some editing. Cause that's how we roll. Today's been kind of boring vlog. I'll try to be more exciting. Like my white cabinets. That's exciting. All right. Okay, guys, it's the end of Sunday. I made a bunch of videos today. I transplanted all of my house plants back here. That video will be up this week. Oh, look at me. I'm sweating. I have a Cinco de Mayo taco dish coming up. Um, I'm not sure what else. My Monday vlog. And we'll see what else we can get into with social distancing. But right now, I'm going to put these videos together, edit, and then do some cross stitch and relax. It is 5.20 p.m. in Ohio, Eastern Daylight Time. And I just fed the boys. They are having their dinner. And then they'll perch in their window for the afternoon because that's where they like to be. And I'm okay with that. All right, well, I hope y'all have a good one. Are you coming to say hi, buddy? You coming, you done? Come here, you can say hi. Come here. Come on. No? <coughs> Guess not. He loves to sit in the middle of my laptop. No, buddy, you don't need to be up there. Where are you going? Where are you going? The rest of my house is a disaster. I have to clean, mop, do the rest of my weekend chores. Right, here he is. Gubby, you taking a bath? His after dinner bath. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And hopefully, fingers crossed, Ohio is starting to open up a few things. Um, Friday was doctors and vets. Monday, I think, is manufacturing, construction, distribution, and maybe small regular business operations, I think, can go back. Um, where I work, is I'm considered essential, so I work. And then I think on the 12th, retail stores open back up so I can go to the Dollar Tree. Now, I do have a few things, but I have a big old Dollar Tree DIY, uh, haul plan for you. All right, friends. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.